Hi guys, this is Aaron from Weinkult and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. Today we're talking about the 2021 Milanrama Rioja Blanca. Uh, but first, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This wine is mostly Viura with a splash of Tempranillo Blanco from a 30 year old vine on gravelly clay limestone that sits at about 300 to 500 meters of altitude. Uh, all stainless steel uh, in terms of the fermentation and the winemaking. This is crisp, clean, fruity, delicious. Uh, Tempranillo Blanco itself is actually a mutation of the Tempranillo grape. So it's also very cool to be able to feature something that unique. Milan Rama is actually Spanish for yarrow, uh, a flower that's fairly prevalent in Rioja and also handsomely featured on the label. Uh, this wine is a project in Rioja from the up and coming female winemaker, Ruth D'Andres. Uh, Ruth actually produces wine with the help of her sister, Anna D'Andres, and together they've started the D'Andres Sisters label, uh, which is a really interesting connection that's definitely worth you exploring in its entirety if you love Spanish wines. We loved their Cava and also their Alicante, but ultimately landed on the Rioja Blanca because of the, well, really how distinct it was from the rest of our club. Really highly regarded for distinctive and age-worthy red wines, <clears throat> Rioja is Spain's most celebrated wine region. Made up of three different subregions of really varying elevation, Rioja Alta, Rioja Alavesa, and Rioja Oriental. Uh, wines are typically a blend of fruits from all three, although specific subregions, uh, you know, or villages or vineyards may be produced. Um, wines can also now be labeled for those uh, independent subregions, so we're starting to see more of that as well. Uh, Rioja Alta is that the highest elevation is really considered to be the source of the brightest, most elegant fruit available from the region, uh, while grapes from the warmer and drier Rioja Oriental produce wines that are uh, really, really deep in terms of their color with a slightly higher alcohol concentration, which can add great body when it's blended or it, you know be produced on its own uh, for a specific style of wine. Fresh and fruity Rioja wines uh, labeled uh, joven means young. Uh, they, those see generally minimal aging before their release, but more serious Rioja wines undergo multiple years in oak. Uh, Crianza and Reserva styles are aged sometimes a year, up to two years. Um, Grand Reserva wines are aged at least two, but in practicality, um, they're generally allowed to mature a lot longer. I mean, we're talking about maybe even up to 15 years before they're released. So there's a pretty wide variety of how people go about trying to produce Rioja wines, which is part of what makes this region so fun and why Gina and I keep coming back to it. On the palate, uh, I get more melon, honeycomb, even some yellow apple. Uh, it's, it, this is also what I would describe as a medium acidity wine. It's got a nice full body, great finish. Uh, it had a little bit of lees aging, uh, no doubt. So it, it's, it's slightly oxidative on the finish, which I think adds something really nice. Um, this is just a super impressive wine. I, I'm a big fan of, of what has been done here. And again, yeah, having a Rioja Blanco, uh, which is so uncommon for us to come across, it's just a very cool thing to have in the club. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.